time for one more phone call. You call him from a 708 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Folks, I will get to more calls tomorrow. I promise. I promise we're going to dedicate uh, a big portion of the show to talking to you. Uh, call him from a 708 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Uh, hey, Sam. This is Dragon Slayer 19 calling from the Chicagoland area. How is everyone this new year? Uh, doing very well. Dragonfly 14. What's Dragon Slayer 14? Sorry. Dragon Slayer. Slayer. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's yep. up? Um, so I have two two very quick points. Um, first off, uh, uh, being from Chicago, I know that you guys know that uh, Rahm Emanuel is uh, going out. So a recommendation might be to do like a postmortem on him, maybe examining uh, his education and the Chicago teacher strikes or his handling of the LaPonte McDonald shootings. I think either of those topics would be really great for a show. Would would um, just simply saying my, would simply saying F him and good riddance be enough? Because that's as much about uh, the Rahm Emanuel as I care to even contemplate these days. But uh, go ahead. Possibly. <laughs> Oh. I'm considering but, uh, doing an second... illicit on him because he actually tra- – it's not just the atrocity of Chicago, but going back to – start. I mean, you know this – back to the Clintons through Obama's oh, yeah. chief. I mean, he is like a microcosm of everything wrong with yeah. the modern Democratic Party. He's bad, folks. Mm-hmm. All right, what's number two? So, yeah, so, uh, so number two, uh, Sam, the more kind of more serious point I wanted to address is – um. Do you know who John uh, McAfee or McAfee is? <laughs> is this going to involve whales? Uh, possibly. So for jo- those John of McAfee, who don't know, John yeah, go McAfee. Ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. McAfee, go ahead. Yeah, John McAfee, McAfee is uh, the libertarian presidential candidate who's most well known for having a comp- campaign manager with an eye patch who looks like Big Boss from Metal Gear Solid and recently a controversy on uh, whale uh, consensual sex laws. And so, Sam, I know that you're gearing up for those libertarian debates, and I, I know the conventional wisdom would be to attack him head-on on this. But I think that instead you should take a little bit of a Bernie Sanders approach, kind of channel your inner cuck energy, and just say, damn that issue, who fucking cares? What really matters, and this is you sticking to your talking points, is who's paying for the roads? to the oceans okay and now <laughs> i know 2016 2016 everyone would be talking about the jetpacks okay and that's how you'd be able to get to them whales but it's 2020 and you need something new something innovative something creative and i think you should talk about personal submarines now there's three reasons why you want to talk about personal submarines one it appeals to all those libertarian elon musk fanboys who think that elon musk was the first person to come up with a personal submarine so you get that under your under your coat Number two, it appeals to those left libertarians who really need to be able to get to their dolphin comrades under the sea to be able to access their nuclear weapons and the Bermuda Triangle. So you'll have them with you. Word. And finally, you'll be taking John McAfee's uh, fucking face by just undercutting him by being nice, but also providing them a way to be able to get to their whales so that they can fuck them. So you'll be able to but get dude, that whole coalition But dude, you won't be able to have really sex get with your whale. You won't be able to have sex with your whale. Uh, anyways. Dude, uh, well, dude, I appreciate dude, yeah, so How I really, are you going really on a whale date without the federal government? Debate, Sam. All, right. Left is best. All right, I appreciate it. How are you Thank going you on a whale that. date without the federal government? I didn't government? see that he had actually tweeted about this earlier in the year, too. So on the right is the oh, yeah. earlier one. Uh, <laughs> so, does somebody want to read it? For the <laughs> yes, no. uh, I'll read it. <laughs> Get uh, your clipping the, machines the, ready. The first one, yeah, I was going to say... Uh, John McAvee writes, well effing, no joke. Each year on February 1st, the Molokai, in the Molokai Channel, a few men compete in the world's only whale effing contest. Humpback whales are easy to F for a second or less. World record, 31 seconds. I competed once, almost got my ribs crushed. Uh, stick with ostriches. Jesus. And then he goes on to say, six months later, uh, enough of the whale effing is non-consensual BS. A humpback whale weighs 70,000 pounds, is 50 feet long, can dive more than a quarter mile, and can crush ships with a single swipe of its tail. If a human manages to F one, you damn well, uh, damn well better believe it's consensual. I don't know what to make of any of this. Is but this I do real? Know exactly. I don't know. 
But I will say this. Uh, it's like we the are, libertarian version of a joke. We're out of time. We'll I be got, here. Real, uh, real quick. Look up McAfee and Belize. It's not all funny with this guy. Oh, yeah. No, not good stuff. All right, folks. See you.